y'all. It's Allison Walker with Randolph County 4-H. So we planted our tomatoes and cucumber seeds. So now it's time to plant the last seed in your bag. And those are the zinnia seeds. So zinnias are a pretty flower. Um, we have a couple different varieties of the zinnia seeds that went out. Um, some of them are going to have some bigger blooms. Some of them are going to have more smaller blooms. Um, it just depends, but either way, you're going to have a pretty flower that you and your family can enjoy. So these should be the last seeds that are in your bag. They are drier compared to um, the cucumber and tomato seeds. So I'm going to set those on top of my bag here. Now, for the zinnia seeds, we are going to plant those in a Jiffy expandable pellet. So this is pretty cool. Um, it's just got peat moss and different things inside of this. It's been dried, but we're going to add water to it, and it's going to expand. And then the, the hole right here, that's where we're going to plant the zinnia seeds. So um, I added water to this one here. And it's been soaking um, about 10 minutes. So you can see it has definitely expanded. And it's pretty cool. So there's the little hole we can drop the seeds in. Um, and you can just leave this inside of a, you can use a bowl or set it on um, a paper towel, whatever you wanna do. Um, but just keep it nice and moist. Your zinnia seeds will start to sprout or germinate, and then in a couple weeks, you can plant it in a bigger pot. But this is perfect to start seeds in. Um, usually there are trays that have 50 of these little jiffy pellets, or 25 to 50, it depends on the size that you get. And you can add water to those, and it's got a nice little cover, and you almost have your own greenhouse. Um, but I just wanted to include these in the packets because I wanted to expose you to different types of growing medias. So I'm going to take this out of the water and I'm just going to set it on the paper towel here. Um, but what you will do is you will take your dry Jiffy pellet and you are going to add it to, you know, just something that you can soak it in and you want to cover it with water. So I've got my watering can here and we will just add water and cover it up. It'll probably float, but that's okay. So just let this soak for about 10 minutes. And then after about 10 minutes, it should look like this one. And we are ready to plant our zinnia seeds. So what you'll do is you'll make sure that it's on the right side. You can see where the hole is. If you look at the dry one, you can see the little hole there. So we want to just put our zinnia seeds down in there. We can use our little fingers here to drop them in. And we'll just kind of cover it up a little bit but we just want to put it there on top and we will put it to the side if you want to put all of your um, seeds together you can set them in a window seal we want to make sure that they get some kind of light whether it's the artificial light in your house or um, the sunlight so you can just set these in a window seal somewhere and watch them grow 